Hey everyone, welcome back to CoinUs. In today's video, we will be talking about 10 rare US coins you should definitely not spend in 2024. Quick reminder, before we dive in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell to get daily notifications of recent coin-related uploads. Starting with this 1935 D. Lincoln cent, it means state 67 red. The 1935 D. Lincoln Cent MS67 Red is a rare and highly sought after coin, especially in such high grade. Minted at the Denver Mint, which produced over 47 million cents that year. This particular coin stands out because very few examples have survived in such pristine condition. The MS67 grade reflects a superior uncirculated coin with an exceptional strike, sharp details, and virtually no flaws as determined by the Sheldon grading scale. At this level, the coin is considered near perfect and visually striking. The red designation indicates that the coin retains its original bright copper color. Without significant darkening or toning that is often seen in older copper coins, this vibrant color enhances its appeal to collectors. Coins of this caliber are not only rare but also highly valuable as few Lincoln cents from 1935D have been preserved with such minimal wear. This particular coin is graded by NGC, one of the leading coin grading companies. It was sold for $312 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is an error piece. This is 1918D Buffalo Nickel struck on a sand planchet, graded as AU58 by PCGS. A dramatic wrong planchet error, the obverse design of the nickel is fairly well centered on the sand planchet, while the reverse is more closely aligned with the lower border. The date is bold and nearly complete, while the D mint mark is identifiable, despite being a bit soft. Deep copper rose patina overall, with light cobalt blue providing further visual appeal. This nickel was sold for $4,080 at Stax Bowers auction. 1944 Lincoln Sand struck on a thick experimental planchet with weight of 4.9 grams. The typical 1944 cent weighs 3.1 grams, and Pollock states 1944. Once and pieces are known struck on especially sick planchets. These are listed as, these are listed as experimental scents in Judd pattern reference. Other numismatists regard them to be mint errors. It is struck on planchets cut from sheets of rolled stock intended for the production of foreign coins. Pollock listed them as P2078. It's curious that the alloy is 16% nickel, since that the metal was absent from 1944 Jefferson nickels, regardless of whether the present piece is a pattern, an experimental scent or a mint error on a foreign planchet. It's possibly unique in its alloy combination, it's well struck and coruscating with light peach gold toning and minimal signs of contact. It was sold for staggering $12,000. Here is 1965 Roosevelt time struck on a silver planchet graded in mint state 62 by NGC. The US mint transitioned to clad times during 1965. Silver dimes continued to be struck to use up the remaining stock, but those coins were intended to be produced on 1964 dated dice. But Murphy's Law ensured some silver dime planchets were struck with 1965 dies, our online archives show 8 prior auction appearances. This is an unblemished example with light straw, gold toning, save for a small area of powder blue patina near 3 o'clock. On the reverse, it was sold for $14,400. Moving on with this 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent in circulated condition, graded as AU53 by PCGS. The 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent AU53 PCGS is, is one of the most iconic and sought after coins in American numismatics. It was minted at the San Francisco Mint in 1909, the first year of the Lincoln Cent series, with total mintage of just 484,000 coins, making it one of the rarest regular issue Lincoln cents. The VDB refers to the initials of the coin's designer, Victor David Brenner, which appears on the reverse at the bottom of the coin. These initials were later removed from the design, adding to the rarity and desirability of 1909's VDB. 
The E53 crate, as assigned by PCGS, indicates that the coin has only slight wear on the highest points but retains most of its original detail and luster. This grade is high enough to make the coin appealing to both collectors and investors while still being accessible in terms of price compared to higher uncirculated grades. This scent ended up selling for $1,380. Attractively toned superb gem 1969 D dollar struck with silver contents in 1969 D is important as a final Kennedy of issue, earmarked for commercial circulation with that alloy. It is also one of the rarest deeds in the series, in MS 67 or fine condition. This wonderful specimen is imbued with fiery rainbow colors on both sides. Graded in mid state 67 plus, this true gem was sold for $6,600. Here is 1962 Jefferson Nickel in mid state 67 plus with full steps. The 1962 date is not a particularly noteworthy issue with a long running Jefferson Nickel series. Struck to the extent of nearly 100 million pieces, the 1962 is often seen with dye erosion. This piece is not an exception as dye flow lines appear on both sides, more prominently on the reverse, where they show both in the fields and on Monticello. However, this piece shows a no questionable five full steps strike on reverse, apparently at the expense of hair near Jefferson's ear. Generous luster prevails over lovely surfaces with pale jade gold and pink hues. Two small nicks on Jefferson require a loop to see. It ended up selling for $21,150. Beautifully toned Lincoln scent 1925 D penny in mid state 62 brown. The 1925 D Lincoln scent in MS 62 brown is a desirable coin particularly for its unique toning and historical value. Struck at the Denver Mint, this scent had a mintage of over 22 million, but finding one in such condition was attractive toning gets considerable appeal for collectors. The MS62 grade as assigned by NGC signifies that the coin is uncirculated, though it may have minor marks or slight imperfections. Despite being a lower mint state grade, its eye appeal is greatly enhanced by the toning, which features neon blue hues, making it especially attractive to collectors who value coins with distinctive colorations. The designation brown indicates that the copper coin has developed a natural patina over the time, which is typical for older copper coins. However, the presence of neon blue tones makes this particular example stand out as such colors are not common in most toned copper scents. It was sold for $360 at heritage auctions. Here is 1964 Rosewood Dime from Special Mint Set, otherwise known as SMS Dime, graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. The 1964 special mint sets that started appearing at auctions decades ago have an interesting texture. They don't have the deep proof-like quality of 1967 SMS coins. They are more similar to the 1965 SMS pieces but lack the reflectivity seen even on those specimens. Speculation is that some 50 sets were produced, many of which have been broken up. In the last 10 years, this dime is slightly toned, intricately de detailed and displays extensive dye polishing. It was sold for $6,600. And this is 1954 Lincoln Scent in Mint State 67 Red. This intensely lustrous superb gem scent offers deep reddish-orange coloration over both obverse and the reverse. A degree of streaky tan color occurs near the top of the reverse, while the other side enjoys pleasing accents of lavender and powder blue. The strength of the design is readily apparent on the legends and wheat lines, as is the absence of any bothersome blemishes. The Philadelphia Mint accomplished a mintage of nearly 72 million Lincoln cents in 1954, but finding a 67 gem is extremely rare. It was sold for $31,200. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and comment. Your support is highly appreciated. Keep collecting, stay tuned, and God's willing, see you in the next video.